Welcome to the Hobby Drone Pilot Channel, folks. Today I'm going to talk about the DJI drone ban in the US. It seems to be imminent. And why I say that? Because it appears that DJI itself is asking for help to stop this proposed drone ban in the USA. I'm going to talk about it. As Bill the Joan reviewer often says, it's a good day for flying, and fly we will. A little um, overcast, uh, slightly windy, but fly we will while we can. And although I do not live in the United States of America, and although I do not fly Jones in the United States of America, a DJI ban in America may have far-reaching consequences for other countries. Who knows? It is often said that when America catches a cold, the rest of the world sneeze. I do order my Jones and Amazon to the United States of America and if DJI is denied permission so that the Jones could no longer operate on the FAA network in the United States of America this may have far-reaching consequences and not only for Jones in the future are Jones that is yet to be manufactured, but for existing Jones. And so, persons who have already built up a fleet of DJ Jones may find that they have only antiques, they may become useless. Now, as I understand it, a lot of States have already passed legislation banning like the police forces and rescue agencies, fire services, etc. from using any drones that is made in China or where a substantial amount of the components are from China. But I do understand there is a, a bill that is inching its way to Congress and could probably find its way on the president's desk. It's the CCP June Act. I understand it has been championed by Representative Elise Stefanik of the United um, of, um, New York. And uh, this bill, if passed, would ban probably not only DJI Jones, but any Jones that are manufactured in China. And the reason given is national security concern. Mm. It is believed that DJI Jones somehow are actually um, capturing the data and data of critical infrastructure in the United States and passing it on to the Chinese government. Of course, DJI has vehemently denied this. And I understand in the past, I've opened up their systems and what's not for auditing and nothing was found. And uh, I've watched a, a few drone shows and uh, there are some who are saying that if this law comes into effect, it will be the end of the Joan Habis as we, as the Joan Habi, of the Joan Habi, as we know it. And this probably may be true. But what is very frustrating to many is that no one has shown any evidence whatsoever 
where these drones are capable of capturing this sort of data and compromising the US security as is alleged and some have pointed out when there were similar similar allegations about the phone company Huawei that there was evidence and they were pulled from the USA network but no such evidence have ever been provided where drones are concerned and some see this as some sort of conspiracy to get hobbies out of the airspace and with the imminent introduction of um, drone delivery where Amazon and other of those commercial um, businesses are concerned that this could be a ploy to get rid of um, the hobbies. I don't know but when DJ itself is reaching out and asking for help then it seems that this is more serious than we may have initially thought so DJ it appears have posted on its social media reaching out for help and there's a statement it seems on DJI official media site stating as follows a bill against DJI is expected to move in the US Congress in June which would impact US operators access to DJI Jones this applies to recreational commercial and government use if DJI FCC authorization are revoked. US operators will no longer be able to access new DJI drones and their existing drone fleets may even need to be grounded. So before I may have said um, F FAA, it seems that it is the FCC and not the FAA. Right? The article goes on this bill is based on inaccurate claims and contradicts a technological based policy approach that would raise the bar and drone security overall so and there are links below the article there is a link take action today and there is another link where you can learn more, I will try to put them in the in the description. So it appears that this is not just some blowhard talk about banning DJI Jones or Jones manufactured out of China. Um, this seems to be some serious traction on this um, proposed legislation. And if this comes into effect, then it could not only see DJI drones being grounded, but probably any drone that is manufactured out of China. So Atel, for example, Hobson, Fimi, and all those other companies, Potensic, and all those companies could be affected. And uh, the question has arisen during this debate. What is the U.S. alternative in terms of a drone manufacturer and some people point to Skydio but Skydio has withdrawn from the recreational or the consumer market it is now concentrated purely in the commercial um, space so what is the alternative it is an open secret that DJI drones are the best it perform as intended the quality is next to none there are persons who boast that the customer service is um, first class I have never had any occasion to engage the GI's uh, customer service but there are people who could attest to this and I am sure that 
um, John Habeas and other drone operators from the U.S. who are opposed to this legislation, that they are not um, unpatriotic in any way. They just want to be able to continue with their hobby. And I'm sure if they see some sort of proof that there is some risk to national security and be i believe that they would um, probably take a different view but we live in an age where we can't even trust our elected um, members of our um, congress and parliaments etc our elective elected representatives and unless we don't see things in black and white we just can't believe them some people think that this is just um electioneering because we're in a political, um, because we're in an election. Yeah, some people think that this is China bashing. Some people think that this is just scaremongering. And some people are saying that what sort of critical infrastructure that the drone could actually send back data on that China um, does not know about. Those are some questions that has been raised but it appears that this thing is serious it is not just um hot air that a dji drone ban could be imminent and dji itself the company itself is asking for help asking that drone operators and others what a um hobbies people in the commercial space etc should reach out to their political representative their senators their congressmen etc in order to find some sort of resolution to avoid this ban is it imminent i don't know will the law actually progress to the stage where it passed through the House of Representatives and the Senate and finds its way and the President's desk, that's anybody's guess. But it would be a sad day for the, the hobby, the Joan hobby, if DJ Jones are banned. I cannot say with any certainty that the politicians and those responsible for the protection of the American people and national security, I cannot say that they do not have information that DJI Jones are actually um, collecting data and critical infrastructure. I don't know what will be helpful, at least if we can see some evidence of such so we are now living in um uncertainty where um the john hobby is concerned should people continue to buy dj jones i don't know is it a wise thing to do um considering that if this law passes that these drones could become absolutely just collector's items i i don't know um what is the alternative i don't know so this is something that everyone should actually watch very closely and uh, a lot of persons in the in the hobby have said if there was an alternative American company making reliable drones up to DJI standards, that there would have been no problem at all to just transition. But sadly, there is none. And if DJI drones are banned in the United States of America, then what would happen to people who 
are hobbies in other countries who depend on getting their Jones to the American market or could they um, order there from China? Probably, but if the order from China, could that Joan, which is banned in America, come to the American system or the postal system, etc.? Those are questions to be fleshed out in the future no one knows what is going to happen personally would i continue to buy dji jones absolutely until the luck comes into effect and um, the consequences manifest itself I am going to avail myself of DJ Jones when I think it is prudent to do so. Um, there's just no other alternatives out there of um, sufficient quality. I do buy other Jones, other brands to review on this channel. Some entry level Jones or rival um, Jones to DJI Jones like the Femi, the Potensic etc but when I'm actually buying a Joan that I want to go out and and fly in peace knowing that it is going to behave in the way that it is advertised and there's not a choice but to buy a DJI Joan I do hope that everything is sorted out and the ban will not come into effect but that is a, a matter for the Americans and for those charged with keeping the homeland safe those are my views where this matter is concerned if you like anything that i've said in this video please like please share please give it a thumbs up and if you disagree it's your right to give it a thumbs down but most of all i thank you for taking time out to look at this video is a ban and DJI Jones in the United States of America imminent I don't know but it seems possible and DJI is asking for help to stop this ban I will see you very shortly in another video cheers bye for now I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off